Welcome back, and right now on the double jeopardy run with two daily doubles on the board, and we're in the lead of 2400, nearly half of the score to player 2, who is now has 1100, and player 3 with 800, and player 3 goes first, and we're going to pick the category, and see is going, <coughs> pick the category in the double jeopardy run. Night is burped. Corey's butt. Alright, here we go. Double jeopardy round. Alright, let's go. In heraldry, a wyvern is one of these mythical beasts depicted with two legs, wings, and a barbed right. tail. Where one? Correct. 400. Kellogg introduced these toaster pastries in 1964. Where one? Yes. Austin and six. Mercury and aneroid are the two main types of this instrument used to measure air pressure. Uh, barometer, barometer. Where one? It's used to measure air pressure, right? Yeah. Barometer. Yes. Eight hundred. It was the sacred relic sought and found by Sir Galahad. Player two? What is? What is the Holy Grail? Correct. Oh, yeah. Player two, you choose. This husband of Queen Victoria worked well with Sir Robert Peel, but quarreled with Lord Palmerston. Player two? Who was Henry? Who is Prince Albert? That's correct. Oh, yeah, Prince Albert. Owen Glendower, a prince of this country, led its last major revolt against English rule. Where Scotland? Do? What is Wales? Oh. That's right. Wales, that's right. It said this Prince of Orange was dubbed the silent by his enemy, Cardinal Granville. What is... Who oh, no, who is... Anybody? No. Here is the correct response. William the First. It's your turn, player two. Uh oh, why don't the two daily double? Player two, your wager, please. Get it wrong. He succeeded his grandfather, Louis II, Matignon Grimaldi, in 1949. Here's your clue. Take a look. <laughs> Who is Prince Rainier? Yes. Uh oh. In 1993, Prince Moradon Wanner became first Prime Minister of this country. Player one? Nineteen ninety three, Prince Nordam Wanadade became the first Prime Minister of this country. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Can Canada? I'm gonna have to say Canada because I don't know. Alright, let's go. Mm, regrettably, no. Uh, well, uh, what's what's the what is Cambodia? Oh, you the at the sea. Species of this mammal include American black, big brown, and polar. Fair. Player one. You are correct. Mammals for Player four. One, you choose. Collisions with boats are the largest identifiable cause of death of these Florida sea cows. Player one? Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. What? Manatee! It's your turn, player one. Six. In Sumatra, they call this tree-dwelling ape Mawas. Player three. What is the orangutan? Oh, yes. Uh, Low-waisted dresses and bobbed hair typified the flapper look of this decade. What Player is one? the... What? Twenty? Twenties? Correct. 
1920s. A on mammals. Though these earth pigs eat ants, strictly speaking, they are not anteaters. What is an aardvark? Correct. In the old song, it's the person you have to tell the old gray goose is dead. Oh no. Here is the correct response. Oh. It's your turn, player three. One of there the highlights go. of this city is the Nelson A. Rockefeller Empire State Plaza. Player one? Hang on, hang on. Is the category state capital? Yeah, it's Albany. And it's Albany. That's it. Mammals for 1,000. The fossa, a type of civet, is the dominant carnivore of this African island, the world's fourth largest. Madagascar. Player three. What is Madagascar? Damn. Yes. This is fast. Player three. After the Jacobite Rebellion, these Scottish plaid patterns were banned by what? British law. Player one? No. Player three. What are tartans? Why, yes. Oh. This men's headdress, made by winding fabric around the head, inspired a draped hat worn by women. Player three. Yes, what is a tam? Good guess. Wong! Here is the correct response. Tubin! Player three, your turn. This old, robed, white bearded man carrying a scythe is a real clock watcher. Another one. one. To be sure. Stay kept us for four. In the 1830s, it replaced Vandalia as Illinois' capital. Player one? Yes. State capital of six. This capital city was home to the NHL Whalers. Oh. Player three. Uh, what is Hartford? Yes. Yeah. In ancient Rome, freeborn boys wore the toga Praetexta which was white with a border of this color. Uh, yellow? What is purple? Correct. What? Oh. Player three. Uh-oh. Player three. Your wager, please. 2,800. A broad necktie and a broad scarf were named for this fashionable English race track. Okay. What is four in hand? Oh, I'm sorry. Ha ha. Ascot! Gettysburg Battlefield is located about 35 miles southwest of this capital. Player one? Gettysburg. Gettysburg Battlefield is located about 35 miles southwest of this capital. Alright, let's go. Yes. Thousand. This city in the Green Mountains is home to the New England Culinary oh, Institute. What the one? Wait a minute. We heard this somewhere before. Correct. Austin has thousand. The fish called Dolly Barton Trout was named for a character in this author's Barnaby Rudge. Dolly Parton! Who was Jules Verne? Oh, I'm sorry, that's... Wong! Right. Here is the correct response. It was Charles Dickens! Player one, your turn. Relatively speaking, for 600, Alex. For Dad, it's the boy his daughter married. Player two? Who is a son-in-law? You are correct. In Macbeth, the witches are also called these weird relatives. Player one? Correct. 
And now the last clue. Any symbol of the U.S. government or the whole nation. Uncle Sam. Free. Who is Uncle Sam? To be sure. Damn. That takes us to the end of this I round. I did. But the computer would have beat me to it. That's okay. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry well, about we got a $400. Player three. Go ahead. You're within striking distance now. It's time for final Jeopardy. Now here's our final Jeopardy category. Organizations. <laughs> 4,200. How much do we have? 5,800. Okay. 4,200. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. I know this. In 1910, Lawyer Morfield Story became the first person of the oldest U.S. civil rights organization. In 1910, Lawyer Morfield Story became the first president of this oldest U.S. civil rights organization. I had to say this, but I do not know. You know what? I'm gonna try this. Hold on. The oldest, the oldest um, civil rights organization is the NAACP. N-W-C-P-A? No, NAACP, N-A-A-C-P. Like that? Yeah. That's and the oldest civil rights organization. Alright, let's go. Now, player three, your question. That's right. National saxophone. Your wager was. The advocate color people. Now you're showing off. That is the NAACP. Player two, let's take a look at your question. Oh, sorry. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Sometimes you get a tough one. Your question, player one. Very good. Now, what was your wager? Even $10,000 and Jay saved our hunt. Congratulations. Hope you had fun. We did. And we'll see you soon. I saved the game. So that means that's 200 $72,300. Who? Leaving so soon? Oops. Oh, it's on the end. Alright, Jay, you saved the night. Thank you. Hey, no problem. As two weeks in a row, we we fall back and we bounce back up. That's two weeks in a row for that. So that means that's an 18 game grand total of $272,300. Next week is game 19 and we're gonna go and we're gonna go to see how far can we keep that one. Alright. I'd like to thank my sky guys for helping out on Jeopardy coming up next. Uh, video gameplay review. See you all there for that one. <laughs>